Alan Murray and Glory live stream. It's an ugly stream, a sad stream, a stream hostile to catch and players as we know it. Because, gentlemen, it has begun. Out of the ashes of Buenos Aires, at first come sorrow, and then anger. Yesterday, it was noticed by members of our community that Games Workshop has started discontinuing and simply removing certain guard models from Forge World, from the Games Workshop website. And obviously, this creates a lot of uncertainty. Right now, there is there is hope, or should I say, cope, I feel the war that this Wizards may me. come back. It is a good That's thing. That may come back. But I think we all knew, I think we all knew this was happening. Of course, we're going to have a main topic for today, which is going to be, which is going to be the models that have been removed by Games Workshop and how that how that affects us both potentially gameplay wise and of course how uh that affects us you know flavor wise and we're going to discuss what we think of the things that have been removed what do we think might find its way back into uh, the guard codex because just because it is no longer being sold does not mean that it will not come back with a new model or something like that so lots, 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 lots to discuss. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of coming into this. I've, I know that a couple of people uh, like Auspex Tactics have come to this. So we'll be definitely using that as a bit of a reference. Shout out to him. He's done some hard work on this already. But uh, of course, uh, we will be doing some of our own digging in here. And we'll be taking a look and maybe compiling a list of everything that uh, seems to be under threat. All right, so it's it's potentially a little bit of a bittersweet stream today because obviously we're, get, we're, we're going to talk about new guard codex and what we're excited for and all that good stuff. But we're also going to be looking at some of the some of the sacrifices that have been made on the altar of 10th edition in order for us to get some new models, like a lot of the Krieg stuff that's been announced. Uh, well, the, we know Krieg Rainforest is coming and, uh, and you're obviously is getting our codex. And a big question... A big question is, uh, you know, do we look forward to our codex? Do is, is, is not just us, but as players of any factions, do you still look forward to your codex, or is is enough stuff being lost that you're not as excited as you used to be for a new codex coming out? So uh, we'll see, we'll see, right? So lots and lots to talk about, but that's the briefing for tonight. Joke shop really. Um, uh, uh, under I don't know if they fully appreciate uh, what is being lost when um, if, if Strachan goes. Okay, because really it means the... Uh, and I, I do apologize to all the fans of Ursula Creed and Lord Solar Leontus, like the, all three of them. But it is the last interesting guard character. Now, when I say uh, interesting, we're not even necessarily talking about lore or or anything like that what we're talking about is interesting on the tabletop so the lord solar and uh and ursula creed are very functional models okay so uh you you take a lord solar because uh he's great at doing orders for for vehicles and for super heavies you know but really you know mostly for vehicles because a lot of people don't take super heavies in, in big you know in, uh, in competitive games uh, and Ursula Creed is great for, you know, has been great consistently one form or another for free stratagems or fields of fire, or whatever it may be. Okay. But neither of those uh, characters are actually interesting. They're very functional. They're very usable. They bring a lot to your army, but they're not interesting. Strachan is interesting because he is so different to other guard characters. 
Firstly, he's still very functional because he does two orders and he's, he's, he's quite cheap. But what makes him interesting is that he is actually good in combat. And guard players, we don't really get to enjoy uh, combat units. And we don't really get to enjoy uh, a lot of epic moments um, when, it comes, when it comes to sort of melee. And regardless of, no matter, no matter what you say, um, fundamentally, melee is cooler than shooting okay melee is melee is cool all right so the problem with strachan going is you lose you lose that flavor you lose that final shred of epic epicness that guard had for building you know or for, for taking a, a guard character who could punch literally well above their weight and no, and if, if Strachan goes, then you will no longer have those moments when he goes into an orc war boss and wins. And he goes into a hive tyrant and wins. I mean, I remember the first time I used Strachan in 9th edition, it literally blew my mind. My, my world view was shattered. The scales fell from my eyes. And I was like, holy shit, this is a character which is perfect because not only is he very functional with his orders he's also very fun and interesting and fluffy at the same time it's perfectly balanced as all things should be but if strachan goes then what is very what i would say is not only is a lot of flavor going but as someone who's been in this game for a little while i also find it incredibly frustrating because Strachan was the last way that we could take a combat character. And Games Workshop, over uh, many editions, but specifically I'd say mostly over sort of 9th and 10th edition, uh, has really stripped down Guard's ability to build a fighty commander. So... Oh, so, oh, basically, because of all the fixed points costs, because of um all of the um like the, the the lack of enhancements and stuff basically um the only way that you could gw because of that gw took away the old fisto the magnificent they took away all you know things like the dreadnought they took away um you know they took away a lot of those way you know the 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 the, the, the sword of tusaka they took they uh, the dagger tusaka they took away the sword of the claw of the desert tigers they took away the the mammoth blade they took away the sword of the um the what was it the sword of uh was the blade of judgment i think it was they've taken away all of these things and so when we got to 10th edition the only gw was like we gw made it clear we don't want you guys building these wacky characters out there that are punching you know like punching shit to death you're a guardsman you shouldn't be doing that you should you shouldn't be doing that only only very 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 rare epic heroes of the imperium should, you should be able to do that kind of stuff and strachan's one of those and so we were like okay so you don't want us to build our own epic ways of doing things, but you've given us an epic hero because this is what 40k is all about now. It's no longer about you can't bring named characters. Now it's almost like you need to bring named characters. Look at all of the uh, competitive lists and they're pretty much all going to have, in a lot of places, they're going to have a named character. You know, you, you know, a lot of it, for example, I mean, it's not going to count for everyone, but you, 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 a lot of, you, you don't really, you don't, you, you see a lot more named characters now than you used to. Okay. Now, so GW is basically like, we don't want you to build your own characters. We want you to take the epic characters because, you know, we basically they make money from selling those epic characters, right? Uh, and now we can't do that. So GW has taken away the way for us to do it ourselves. And then they've taken the way that they were, that, that they've taken away their way and there's nothing to replace it. And so long story short, the reason why I find the Strachan thing so annoying is because it is a perfect quintessential example of how G of how not... In my of how not to, to to change something if you are going to discontinue something if you're going to change something one hand taketh but one hand should giveth and so i'm a little worried and you might say what well, gw is going to give us all this creek stuff true true and uh, absolutely absolutely you know that, that that is fair but i do feel like um if 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 there isn't some sort of mad fighty bastard creek character I'm going to be really sad because it's going to mean a, it's going to mean a, a, a surprisingly big change for for guard. Yeah.
first, first they came for Fisto the Magnificent and I did not speak for I was not Fisto the Magnificent. Second, they came for... <laughs> Second, they came for the Dreadnought and I did not speak for I was not a Dreadnought fan. Thirdly, they came for Strachan and I spoke out, but there was no one left to defend my beautiful bionic boy. <laughs> so Daniel Simpson, yes, uh, I, I, he is. It's uh, Strachan is so much fun, and um, I am worried and I am sad that if he does get removed, but I am, I'm huffing on the copium. I'm huffing on the copium that hopefully they bring him back in some way or they replace you know if they if it, what i would accept what i would accept okay is if they get rid of strachan because he's an old fine cast model but the plastic you know the limited edi edition catchan model if they bring back the limited edition catchan guy and they bring him back as a new named cat because he's got a power fist right he's got a power fist so if they bring basically him back as new strachan call him something else you know and he basically does the same thing then that's okay because we, you know, we lost daddy creed we got lady creed you know we lost yarrick but we got lord solar leontis you know if we lose strachan can we get can we get a new uh can we get can we get can we get dylan can we get fucking dylan that's the big one all right so i hope so either that or give us some absolutely mad bastard krieg combat character give us just give us something you know and, and in, a, in a weird sort of way i like don't get me wrong striking leading catachans is really really cool but tactically speaking kriegers are a lot more powerful than catachans and if i can now take kriegers with a mad bastard combat character in there I'll be, I will be sad that Strachan is gone, but I'll be happy that I might be able to do what I've loved doing with a blob of Catachans beating the shit out of everyone. Uh, but even better now. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care how you give it to me, GW. Let me, let me do a bayonet charge that do, isn't overpowered, but actually does something. I hate it when I do a bayonet charge and everyone, no, I don't hate it. I like doing it sometimes because it can be fun and fluffy. But in a tournament, I don't like it when you do a bayonet charge and like nothing happens. You know, there should be some way of making a bayonet charge semi-viable. Yeah. Sir Shovelton the third. I agree. Sir, make Sir Shovelton the third. That's what I want. Strachan going is, is, is bad. And like I've said previously in the stream, there's a lot of flavor that's going to be missed there. For sure. For sure. For sure. But with models like... The, the, the good thing about... The one silver lining, there's no good thing about it. The one silver lining is that it's entirely possible to keep using your... <laughs> he stood up! Randy, get... Randy, put your fucking pants back on! So, the good thing is, is that... Let's... Okay. Let us just now... Just accept that Strachan is probably gone. I know. I know. No rules... Nothing. Like Strachan. He's gone. Now, whilst that's incredibly sad, the silver lining is that when an infantry character is removed, the model is still exceptionally usable. For example, for example, I have a Lord Solar Macarius model. There's no rules for Lord Solar Macarius. And yet this model gets used in nearly every single game that I use Infantry Guard or Hybrid Guard. Why? Because I can use him as Creed. I can use him as a Castellan. I can use him as a Death Corps Marshal. There is no longer a Armageddon Steel Legion Commissar model. But I can use it as a Commissar. No, slightly, slightly, you know, weaker example. I know. There is no longer Usaka Creed. This model is gone. But I still use him every single, nearly every single game. Why? 
Because I use them as Creed. If everyone Creed, I'll just use them as Creed. Ursula Creed. It's fine. So, if our boy Strachan and Harker go, yes, it will be sad because their rules will no longer, you know, reflect the model that they once were. You know, Strachan, you know, won't be able to punch tanks in half. Yes. But every single time I want to have an officer leading some Katachans, or if I want, if I'm a Katachan player right now, and I want a model to represent Katachan Creed, I'll use this guy. Because he's got a power sword. And he's got, you know, he's got, um, the shotgun could easily represent duty and honor, you know. So he's still going to get used. He's not, and whilst I'll be, whilst I'll be sad that he was, he'll be a shadow of him for myself, I can still use the models. So that's it. That's it. So, yes, I am, I cannot express, I cannot express how gutted I am with Strachan going. I cannot express it enough. But at least I can still use the model. What is really, what really fucks me off. What really fucks me off is this kind of shit. When things like the Malkador Infernus go away, and there's, it's very difficult for me to use this as anything else. Like, if we get a Hellhound out, you know, the Hellhound is just obviously not the same size. You know, I mean, if my hand's covering the way. Yeah, obviously not the same size, right? So, it's annoying when... It's annoying. I don't mind shit going away. I don't mind it as much when shit goes away, if I can still use it. But, like, for example, you know, I've got a producer here. I've got an old producer here. I can't use this as a Medusa anymore, but I can use it as a Basilisk. And I've taken it to Taunus as Basilisk and no one's cared. That's the thing, right? So Strack, you know, and Harker can live on. Harker can live on as a uh as a as a as a, a, a as a heavy as a heavy bolter guy. You take Harker, you rebase him on a big base, you have a you have a guy walking around with just like a big with just fucking ammo loops, just like just walk, you know, ammo backpack. Easy enough. So, so infantry models going are easily repurposable, but um, tanks going is a big, big, big fucking pisser. Yeah, a lot of the time. But yeah, Richard Baker, I agree. It is sad. It is sad. But Strachan is go Strachan is going to live on in one form or another. Real talk. How much fucking hopium do you guys want? Okay, how much how much hope you've dropped to inject into your veins? Okay, so so let's look at this. So right now, there's a little bit of a, a I have I have a little bit of a theory. Okay, I have a little bit of a theory that if something on the GW website says, uh, like here for example, says sold out online, that it's not coming back. That it's not coming back. But I have a theory that if it says temporarily out of stock, that it is coming back. Either it's being reboxed or remastered. Now, this could be great, great hopium. Great, great hopium. But it would mean... I didn't mean to click on that. It would mean that if we look at this for a second... Fuck's sake. GW shitty, shitty website. It would mean that Kajan's Kajan Command Squad might be getting a refresh. The Praetor, the Praetor, and the Crassus, they're only temporarily out of stock. The Mac, the Macar the Plastic Macarius, Marbo, only Marbo getting remastered. Another new Marbo model. The Soul Auxilia Stormhammer. Now I can actually see that going. Temporary out of stock and going over to um, uh, 30k. 
All right? Because look, Medusa gone. Medusa, uh, uh, Earthshaker battery gone. New plastic Krieg artillery confirmed. Gorgon. Plastic Gorgon confirmed. Plastic Gorgon confirmed. Plastic Hades breaching drill confirmed. I'm saying, like, I'm just saying, I think it's possible. Plastic Cyclops confirmed. New engineers, Plastic Cyclops confirmed. Red Scout, give us new routing models, please. I want some Hobbit snipers. Couldn't, ho couldn't possibly comment, Red Scout, that um, I may or may not have seen, uh, uh, a, 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 only at a glance, I may or may not have seen, at a, may or may not have seen at a glance, or maybe not at a glance, um, so, uh, a new, some new, some new uh, uh, hobbits with uh, with sniper rifles for um, uh, for uh, for a game that maybe uh, involves uh, small teams of people trying to uh, kill each other. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've seen it. Maybe I've not. Maybe I've seen it. Maybe I've not. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I couldn't comment. I couldn't comment. Maybe I've seen it. Maybe I've not. <laughs> Um, honestly though, if that theory, okay, hang on a second, bet, chat, bear with me, oh my god, oh my god, it's all coming together, it's all coming together, oh, Half-Life 3 confirmed, Half-Life 3 confirmed, okay, okay, Okay. 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 I think plastic Macarius kit is coming. Okay. Now let me hit you with. Let me hit you. Why? Okay. Let me hit you. Why? Firstly, look at all of the things that are temporarily out of stock. What are they? They are Macarius Hull models. Look, the Praetor and the Crassus are variants of the Macarius. And then you've got all the Macarius variants, which are temporarily out of stock, but not, 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 not discontinued. Okay, so they're going to take all of the Macarius options and put them into one new box... That you can build all the variants from. Like they did with the fucking Lehman Russ. Let me hit you with something else. Let me hit you with something else, chat. Who remembers? Who remembers a year ago when I was given solid rumors about a guy that said that the new guard, he said he'd seen the new guard stuff, uh, that he worked in, uh, like he worked in logistics uh, like uh, for a company not at GW, but like near GW and all this kind of stuff, right? And he said that there was going to be a new large transport coming for guard in plastic. It was going to be an alternative. Now he 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 didn't see that he what he didn't work in GW. He didn't he didn't see in. But he said that he saw a large plastic guard tank that he thought was the Rogal Dawn, and that there was a plastic alternative. There was an alternative build for the Rogal Dawn. That was a transport variant. Now that never materialized. And I thought that he was just lying. It was just bullshit. But what if it wasn't the plastic Rogal Dawn he saw? What if it was the plastic Macarius with an alternative build for a Crassus slash Gorgon? What? What if? What if, chat? I need two copium pipes for this. <gasps> <laughs> I need I need to <laughs> Oh my god Oh I'm like that guy in the kill team thing where it's like at first the leaks weakened us but then but first, the leaks changed our bodies. 
but no, but then they were making us stronger, like copium pipe coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What if it could be? Uh true number twenty two, I did cover your your super chat, man, but I could I can always nip back to it for a second. I don't mind, dude. Um I'm just saying. What if? I think it I think it makes sense. I think we are gonna see plastic Macarius. I think we're gonna see new plastic Marbo, new Marbo resculpt, and I think we're gonna see re- Mastered cat chance. It's happening. They've they've bamboozled us. It's not. It's not a single range refresh. It's a double doozy. We're getting cat chance and Kriegers. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Marbo. Marbo as a it's cat chance are coming to kill team. Which are going to have Marbo as one of their operatives. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. uh. Oh my god. Maybe. Okay, that last bit, probably not. That last bit probably not. But I am I am I am somewhat hopeful now. I am somewhat hopeful for I mean, okay, in a, on a serious note, though. Okay, on a serious note, GW's doing a Krieg range refresh, right? It would make... If GW was going to bring a new tank for the Kriegers, and after seeing the success of the Rogal Dawn, it would genuinely make sense for them to have a plastic Macaris. Like, it, like I, I'm not trying to get everyone's hopes up, but if there was any... If there was any tank that they were gonna that they were gonna launch as part of a range refresh, because the Makaris Vanquisher is it's popular, but it's not so popular that taking it from resin to plastic would mean that the old resin sales would impact the new plastic sales. Like no, it no, not at all. So it, it, GW is not necessarily logical, but I honestly. It would make sense. Will we get? Will we get uh, the centaur back? Probably not. Could we get a new big tank that they, that GW knows? GW knows will sell like hot take hot hotcakes. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at what we've got on the website right now. So some things it can be sometimes difficult to track what is uh, what is missing because obviously some things just get utterly removed. But if we look through this, we've got, you know, this stuff at the top is obviously still all in, all being sold. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything that's like temporarily out of stock here. Uh, character and Jungle Fighters are online only. Character and Jungle Fighters are online only, but there's, they're not, they've not just been removed or anything like that. Um, so Strachan, and then we start getting the full stuff. So Strachan and Harker are just gone. They're just gone. Um, we've still got... So Leontus has a model. Creed has a model. Kane and Castellan has a model. Tank Commander doesn't have a model, but it does have a model in the upgrade sprue. Platoon Command Squad technically has... Uh, technically, uh, Platoon Command Squad uh, is still being sold. Uh, there you go. So we've still got that. Uh, Cadian Command Squad is obviously fine. Strachan, gone. Primara Psyker. Now, that model is gone, but the Primara Psyker is still being sold. Where is it? I'm sure it's still being sold. So, the Cadian Command there. There. That's the new Primara Psyker model. All right. Um, Gaunt's Ghost still around. Regimental Attaches, gone. Red and Tashes are gone now. Ogren, Bodyguard, Nork, they're all fine. Infantry Squad, we don't have a, a, a box for that, but I don't think that'll be going away. Cadian Shock, uh, obviously still here. Death Corps Creek. So Death Corps Creek have gone from the online store, but they're just going to be... Re they're currently being sold in a Kill Team box. 
they're just going to be reboxed into a 40k box, like Imperial Agents. Captain Dugger Fires, still sold. Um, Sly Marbo, still, is still being sold. Did we find Marbo? Temporarily out of stock, right? So Sly Marbo, temporarily out of stock, but the model is still on the store. Kazakin, good. Priest, good. Sergeant Harker, gone. Tech Priest Engine Seer, uh, good. Servitors, gone. Servitors, servitors are gone. Definitely, definitely servitors are gone. Uh, we know they're not being sold anymore. Uh, Commissar, good. Ogren, good. Bulgren, good. Rattlings, still being sold. Attilum Rough Riders, Scout Sentinels, Armored Vehicle. I think all of the Armored Vehicles are fine, right? Yeah. Basilisk, fine. Hydra, fine. Manticore, fine. Wyvern, fine. Death Strike, fine. It's in the it's in the, uh, uh, in the Manticore kit. Chimera, fine. Torox, fine. Valkyrie, fine. Defense line, fine. Uh, Bane Blade variant, all all still there. Yeah. So that's it. So it was to get the full list. I want to write this down. So what is gone from the web store from the main codex Strachan has got there's no well, there's, there's just no model for it now and when you go on GW's website you go to armies of the imperium go to astrobertarum there is now no longer any models for Strachan, harker advisors preacher and servitors there's no models for those there's no temporary out of stock there's no sold online they have just been quietly Stalin style just photoshopped out all right now in terms of stuff that's in the main codex that doesn't have any models you've got the tank commander the infantry squad and the platoon command squad okay so they got data sheets but no models in terms of what is now been labeled on the website as no longer sold online sold out online you've got the perfectus commissar resin earth shaker resin medusa Resin Bombard, Resin Valdor, Resin Minotaur, Resin Malkador Defender, Resin Thudgun, Resin Heavy Mortar, and Resin Death Corps of Creed Command HQ Squad. Okay. Now, one of those models, only one of those, the official Perfectus Commissar, is a plastic model. And that has clearly been superseded by the new, uh, the new plastic, right? Um, but the other one, but everything else is Forge World. Now, uh, Smokey Hoodoo, Katachans are gone. No, they are not. Katachans are still here. I can confirm Katachans are still being sold. They have not been removed in any way, shape or form. And they are still available for purchase right now in the UK. Okay. So, Jungle Fires are still good. And uh, temporarily out of stock, we've got... Um, Temporarily out of stock on uh, is we've got the, the catch and command squad. Truthfully, truthfully, I think that's just genuinely gone out of stock. Any catch and player will tell you that thing's always dipping in and out of stock. They they do a run of it. It sells out. They do a run of it. It sells out. OK. But in terms of other stuff, that is it's it's not dis it's not disappeared. It's not been labeled as sold out online. It is now labelled as temporarily out of stock. We have got all the Macarius variants, including the Crassus and the Praetor. We've got all of the Krieg heavy weapon teams, uh, including... Is that including the Stubber? Is the Stubber team still around? Hang on, that's quite exciting if it is. Yeah, including... Twin heavy Stubber team. That's cool. Um, we've also got uh, the Cyclops... All the Death Riders, the Engineers, the Death Corps of Creed Commissar, the Titan Tech Priest. I think that's another just genuinely out of stock option. Uh, or Guard is getting its own version of the Plastic Tech Priest, which would be cool. Uh, Death Corps of Krieg uh, Russ, the Death Corps of Krieg Tank Upgrade, the Hades, the Gorgon, Marbo, and the Resin Krieg Infantry. So, if wor worst case scenario worst case scenario if everything we've just spoken about is just gone 
That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, like, not 19. 18 plus 3 Makaris variants, Crassus, Praetor, so 5. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, uh, 28, 29, for the sake of it, uh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, that'll be 38 data sheets just gone, essentially. Uh, oh, no, 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 maybe, yeah, but roughly, th between about 38 data sheets gone. I, I've, I've sort of fucked up along the way there. Um, but if we go just with what has disappeared and what is not sold out online, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that is Strachan, Harker, Advisors, Preacher, Servitors, Perpetus Commissar, Earthshaker, Medusa, Bombard, Baldor, Minotaur, Magdor Defender, Thudgun, Heavy Mortar, Deathcore Creek, HQ Command. So, there's, there, it, there's even, even, best case, best case scenario, we still lose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Best case scenario, we still lose 15 data sheets and models. Um, Worst case scenario, we lose more than double that. But I think, if, truly, it may be copium, but I think everything that's currently labeled as temporarily out of stock, I think that's going to be, that's that's your hint. GW is dropping the hint on, what they, on what's going to get remastered. And I think remastered Krieg weapon teams, uh, remastered Krieg engineers, remastered Krieg death riders, remastered Krieg... Uh, 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 Remaster Krieg Rust might not be a thing because obviously the Solar Auxilia Rust basically does that. But Remastered Krieg um, Upgrade Sprue and Remastered Krieg um, uh, like plastic plastic tank like the like the uh, like the Macaris. I think that's I think and I I think that's big. Yeah, I think you can see what's going to get remastered, and I think you can see. Um, What's gonna go? What's uh, what's gonna basically go away? And also, you can probably guess what brand new shit's gonna be as well. Now, someone has made a good point here. Um, it, it is possible that maybe the Solar Auxilia Stormhammer and the Death Core of Krieg uh, Mars Alpha Pattern Russ and the Macarius and shit that could go over to thirty k, right? Because that's basically kind of like the thirty k Russ. That's literally labeled of solar auxilia and this shit's old as well but i think i think that um i don't know if the macarius is actually i don't know the macarius law i feel like the macarius isn't from 30k yeah i don't think Macari I, I think the macarius is 40k i think it is Let's have a look. Because it got named after him. And I think it was just produced by the Krieg Forge World. It's like a like Krieg as a like because Krieg has loads of their own pattern and stuff like pattern of their own pattern of last guns and stuff like that. So the return of uh, so the tank was named after Lord Solar Macarius, the great Imperial General who led the Macarian Crusade of uh, 392 to 399 M41 and liberated 1,000 worlds in the name of the Emperor of Mankind. Ironically, in the time it took for the plans for the tank's construction to be approved, the Forge World had also lobbied for and been given the right to build STC Baneblades and it seemed that Nalax's life work had been wasted. I think that's just... Um... Okay, there were many within the Adepts Mechanicus that spent their entire life trying to find the data needed to construct these machines. Through diligent study and cross-examination of ancient documents recovered deep within the archives of Forge World Lucius, a Magos known as Nalax discovered the missing fragments needed to construct one of these long-lost and mostly forgotten tanks. The Magos was eventually able to find enough data on the vehicle to construct an entire tank, and it took his plans to Mars and to the high fabricated general for approval. The process of approval took nearly 200 years, and Nalax himself did not live to see the outcome. After long testing and consultations with many of the Forge Worlds, Lucius was finally sanctioned to start production. 
Okay, due to the scarce number of forge worlds that have access to the functioning or complete Baneblade STC and the huge demand uh, of the Imperial Guard for super heavy armor, many forge worlds have resorted to building heavy tanks that perform the same battlefield role as Baneblades but possess reduced features and abilities. During the Emperor's Great Crusade in the 31st millennium, there were many more heavy tank designs in use by the Imperium than at present. Uh, the Return of Krieg. As the Lucius Forge was its production of Baneblades, it found that demand far exceeded supply, and the plant's manufacturers were having trouble keeping up with the requirement of Departmento Munitorum. At the same time, the 500 year long Krieg Civil War came to an end with the faction lord of the Imperium Victorious, and the world soon offered up many new regiments for the Guard. The Departmento Munitorum looked to Lucius to provide much of the equipment needed for the new regiments, known as Death Corps of Krieg. Uh, this sudden and unexpected increase in demand meant the Forge would need to look to alternatives to the Baneblade. It was then that the Forge World turned to the Makaris heavy tank and an 852 M41, the first Makaris tanks from Lucius, rolled off from production lines and were shipped off to Krieg. This began the Death Corps Krieg association with the Makaris tank, although by this time Mars had given the design to various other Forge Worlds and they were in use by other Imperial Guard regiments as well. So, yes, the Mac long story short, the Makarius is associated with with the krieg it's it is associated with the krieg if you're gonna have a krieg tank released as part of a range refresh plastic macarius come on <laughs> i gotta huff that hope you more boys i've got i gotta keep huffing i gotta keep huffing i gotta keep huffing do i think i don't know if we'll get krieg rust but we might do we might do GW giving us a, another Rust data sheet. <laughs> GW gives us seven, seven more. <laughs> seven more Rust data sheets. The Cr Death Corps of Krieg Vanquisher, Death Corps of Krieg Battle Tank, Death Corps of Krieg. <laughs> they can't do that, man. They can't do that. Oh, they might do that. I think the um, Macarius going. I think, I think the Macarius is going to go plastic. I, I am now. I have now convinced myself of this, and if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> but I can, I can, I can see, I can see this being. Looking at those models, man. Looking at the models on the GW website, I can genuinely see the Krieg range refresh, refresh being. Um, plastic engineers to go alongside with the uh, plastic. Infantry that's being reboxed. I can see um, there being a uh, a plastic officer model, plastic death riders. I think you'll see a plastic artillery piece, just the one, or one kit that maybe can be built in a couple of different ways. Uh, and I think you will see uh, the plastic the plastic tank will be. Uh, will be the, the there'll be one plastic tank as well. I think you're going to get one character, one new infantry squad, one new artillery kit, one new uh, one new tank kit, and then and what and then and then the and then the cavalry. I think you'll get five things. I think you'll get five things, and then what I think you'll get is those kits being able to. Um, possibly do many different things so like the plastic artillery will be able to it'll either be one artillery piece or like like a new one or it'll be like it can build an earth shaker or a medusa you know and then you'll have uh you know the plastic uh i think you'll see like the pla i think the engineers i think the, the Kree engineers will probably come with in a box with the with the breaching drill and a cyclops and it'll be like a big like 50 quid box you get like you get, you'll get like you'll get five engineers with a breaching drill and a cyclops and that'll be like that'll be like 50 quid yeah how many things did we get with the cadians uh so with the cadians we got Cadian castellan rogal dawn Cadian command squad Cadian shock troops Cadian heavy weapons and Cadian upgrade sprue Let's just recap. So, Games Workshop has discontinued a whole bunch of guard models. And a load of them have, uh, a, a handful of them have completely disappeared. And including Stracker and Harker, many others 
including things like the Minotaur and the Medusa and the Earthshaker, are, are now sold out online. And then we have a whole, a whole the, the, the highest category of models we have are actually ones that are currently labeled as temporary out of stock. We've got the Macarises, all the Creek Weapon teams. And so my, my hot take is that it begins. The Guard Purge begins. And I think that any model which has been removed, basically Thanos snapped out, or uh, is now listed as not sold online, I think they're all gone. I think they're all gone. I don't think they're coming back. I don't I, I don't think they're coming back anytime soon. I think I genuinely think there's a strong chance anything that's currently labeled as temporarily out of stock is gonna come back in as plastic. I have no proof for this, but it's just my my hope, and I am huffing the copium hard on that one. But the big thing is, which I've already just thought of, is I think we are going to get what is this? We're in October now. I think we're going to see the Krieg, the new Krieg box in 2024. Oh, hello. Oh, little blip. DW stopping me. The, the, the hacking. The hacking me. The hacking me. Come on. Survive. Survive. I noticed it. I noticed it. I think I think it's gonna come as a Christmas box. Yeah, I think it's gonna come as I think it's gonna come back a Christmas box. I think we'll see it. I think we'll see it in December. I think we'll see the the purge and stuff. It's the beginning. It this happened on the first of October. They purged a whole bunch of guard shit. I think we have a month of um of of them purging it. I, of, of the purge and then i think we have i think we start seeing the warhammer community articles coming out uh end of this month or next month with um you know them like showing bits off and then i think we have a christmas box drop in uh in december that's my take christmas box drop in december with a full guard range drop in january or quarter one, 2025. I think it'll come with the codex. Yeah, I think I think uh, it will come with the codex, but it won't be the full range, and it won't be FAQ'd or tournament legal for a few months. That's my hot take. That's my hot take. I think the new Christmas box is going to... Uh, it'll have one vehicle. What do, the Blood Angel, what do the Blood Angels box have? It'll have one vehicle... Blood Angels Army set. That had a cat. The, the Blood Angels Army set had two characters in it. So I think you'll have. Um, I think you'll get. Uh, you'll get one vehicle. You'll get uh, new Krieg engineers and a uh, and a Krieg um, infantry squad. And I think you'll get a command squad. And um, and uh, I think you'll get a command squad in there. Maybe uh, you'll you'll get you'll get maybe a character as well on top of that. You could see I know what you'll get. You'll get new you'll get new engineers. You'll get new uh, you'll get old uh, plastic Krieg infantry. You'll get new Death Corps Marshal uh, or Commissar, and you'll get new uh, uh, you'll get a combination of either uh, you'll get two of the three Death Corps Command Squad, Death Corps Commissar, Death Corps Marshal, and they'll throw a vehicle in there. And they'll throw a vehicle in there. Vehicle, uh, maybe it'll be the uh, maybe it'll be a new Russ. Maybe it'll be a new Russ. Or it'll be an artillery piece. Or one minute. Just got to huff that copium, all right. Or how about this for the new, the new. Uh, box 20 death core krieg infantry with a new death core command squad and two plastic macariuses yep yep that's the box that's the box right there 
<laughs> I mean, how well? How, I mean, how well did this box sell last year, man? This box last year was bought by pretty much every single guard commander that got that could get their hands on it. Element Games sold out of them the day that they got them in stock. They sold. They basically sold them all on pre-order. GW, they all sold out on GW. They just completely sold out. It's not... You You sometimes go to third-party stores and you see them having, like, army sets still on the shelves from, like, three, four years ago. But uh, not with this one. And Games Workshop, if they want to shift some of those those hard-to-build Krieg infantry, which, which everyone knows is a bit of a nightmare to build, if they want to sh shift those... And the best way to do that is with a pair of the new Mackie V's. There you go. There you go. I called it. I called it, man. Double Mackie. Double Mackie. Double squad. New command squad. Bosh. Job done. <laughs> oh. oh, man. But of course... All of this is just like my opinion, man. Let me know what you guys think. If you watch this live, down in chat. And if you watch this post live, down in the comment section below. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And of course, as always, see you guys next time. Would you like to know more? If so, then please consider becoming a channel member or patron. By supporting the channel, not only will you be doing your part, but you'll also be helping me create more content for your viewing pleasure and unlocking a whole host of perks. You get everything from a badge next to your name, custom emojis, but the big one is access to the Mordian Glory Discord server, an online community with almost two and a half thousand active members. It's always popping off in the MG Discord. We've got channels for army lists, hobbying, tactics, stories, and even a pretty spicy meme section as well. For all you greenhorns that wanted to see the Mordian glory hole, today is your lucky day. And joking aside, I do want to say a massive thank you to all of the current channel members and patrons. You guys are amazing. Truly the lifeblood of the channel. I could not do Mordian glory full time without the incredible and generous support of my members so thank you guys so much and last but certainly not least i want to say a personal thank you to all of my top tier patreons these are the war masters the people who have truly gone above and beyond the call of duty to a heartfelt thank you to alex dengal bon bon vert lord prior mark panconi rj scorpion swordfish trombone try again brag John Stubbs, Nick Walsh, Diesel Fox, and August Barney. Seriously, guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your support is incredible, and it makes a huge difference. Thank you so much. That's all for now. Hope you've all enjoyed today's video. And of course, as always, see you guys next time.